Hey everyone, it's Dave here and today we'll be talking about Guardians VR. We're continuing App Lab series, but it's kinda like there's something releasing every day now. We've had a period before when App Lab first released as a feature and Oculus released like 8 titles or something and then it went like silent for 3 weeks at least. No one really knows why, but then last week we've been just bombarded by games left and right. Like if suddenly Oculus would hire 100 people to review the cases for the curation system. So now I'm like, slow down, Jesus. <laughs> Obviously I'm just one person, so I'm not gonna review every game that's releasing there. But I will be basically picking what really catches my eye and some of your suggestions as well because I can't keep up with everything, you know? So having people to tell me from every source what's going on and what's new helps a lot actually. So Guardian is a FPS action game but with the RTS war design. It simply means that the gameplay is focused on building and controlling your structures, drones, pretty much any weaponry to fight off an incoming aliens that want to destroy your home base. So it's kind of like treated as a turret defense but like you're actually on the battlefield participating in the chaos that's going on and commanding the dynamic of every skirmish you're going into. For an early access game it has loads of features. Single player campaign, co-op mode with other players, PvP multiplayer, like the variety of gameplay is there for sure. To me this game has huge potential especially that it feels like a needed niche of Halo or like Commander and Conquer fans that love sci-fi FPS ambience. Back in my pancake days that wasn't really my preferred genre to play but I can see definitely that the concept really stands strong here and to me that has huge value. The game seems to have very supportive developers by looking at the design choices and possibilities with this project there is a passion. The game because on an early access has still some bugs and stuff like that it's actually heavy on performance that I've seen especially I feel like in multiplayer because of the mechanics and just everyone can deploy their own units as an army there's just like a lot of going on on the screen and in certain situations the FPS is will be quite heavy but it's not the worst and it's something that's gonna be for sure like optimized in the future. Quite honestly I have high hopes for this project and I believe that it's gonna succeed in the future even if it will hit the official store or not it's on App Lab now so it already succeeded in a way kinda. Definitely looking forward for the future updates with this and let's go to the gameplay. Oh shit, look at these moves! Wait, where are we actually? We're like in the station. Legit. Main hand right, grip type toggle. I mean, I don't know what's the gameplay, so we'll see after the tutorial. Tunnel vision, uh, no, 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 no. Welcome back. Commander. Welcome back to what? Oh, here it is, holodeck, learn the basics. It's cool. What is about this cockpit and me being so tiny? Because it seems like we're in a spaceship. Welcome to the holodeck. Okay. <laughs> to move either use the trackpad or press B to teleport. You can teleport to defensive towers, special surfaces like the command center, or create your own teleport point anywhere on the map. Hmm. Now, teleport to the defensive tower on your right. Step on oh. the teleport okay. ladder in front of you to get off the tower. You can also create custom teleport points from the menu. Wait, so doesn't also that mean there's no jumping? Point. Rotate I guess. your hand to place the structure with the orientation that you want. What structure? Ma'am, I don't know what this game is about. Teleport point. Now teleport huh? to the teleport point you just created. <laughs> okay. Good. Now open the weapons menu by pressing X. Now grab the AK-5 rifle by just placing either of your hands on the icon and pressing the trigger. Mm -hmm. Try shooting at the enemy. Shit! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> there are two ways to reload a weapon. The first one is by manually pulling the slide. Try to pull the red slide now. Red slide? You mean this? Good. The other way okay. to reload is by just lowering your arm. So you have a weapon. choice then. Good. Now low you can grab the weapon. Yeah. Some weapons have a scope to give an accurate point of aim. Ooh. Try to I like the scope though. And then shoot at the target. Good. Now lower your arm. <laughs> you can create a powerful force field that will protect you against any attack for two seconds and damage any unit that comes close to it. To activate the shield, extend your left arm horizontally with the arrow up in the contextual menu. Wow. A. From here, you can build structures that will help you on the battlefield. Select the cannon and rotate your hand to place the structure with the orientation that you want. Hmm. You can place mineral extractors near minerals to collect more. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can upgrade and repair your structures by selecting them with the multi-tool. Select the multi-tool by pressing A. 
Then try to select and upgrade your cannon. Upgrade your cannon. So, wrench. In the inventory section of the menu, you can also build companion robots that will help you against enemies. Select droid from the menu. Try to select the robot Shadow with the ability tool. You can give it orders such as moving to a point or defend an area. Now try to move your robot. Give me a target. Yes. During the game, a uh -huh. ship will fly by every few minutes and drop different rewards. Shoot at the crate to open it. Now shoot at the rewards Whoa, to collect what's that? them. What the? You have a jetpack on your back that allows you to jump and glide across the map. Oh. You can open and close your arms to control lift, and roll left or right to control the direction of the jump. To use the jetpack, press the B button for one second. Congratulations. Oh. You're ready now. Like. Yeah! <laughs> oh, so that was it. Okay, good. So it seems like it's sort of a, like an RTS action thing. Like you're literally commanding and building things from your own perspective on the battlefield. At least from the tutorial. So I don't know, let's do the campaign. It seems like you have a co-op as well. Difficulty insane? Yeah, no, not for me. It's also PvP. Not a lot of people playing, assuming I'm that rank. I mean, this game I feel only released like three days ago at the time I'm recording this. So honestly, from the UI and everything that's happening so far it's very promising even for the app lab game so we have 12 chapters in total i guess this plant is coming soon so we have those two yes yeah, we go. have just received a distress signal from a minor colony in sector 24. the settlers report unusually aggressive behavior from local life forms outside the mineral refinery and request our immediate assistance the federation central command has authorized the mission please prepare your troops and deploy to the planet as soon as possible Got him. Thank you for coming so fast, Guardian. Ever since we discovered these damn crystals, the aliens have become more and more aggressive. Hello? We need <laughs> to protect the warp gate while we extract the last pieces and send them to the Federation. Oh, sorry. Commander, I teleported two combat droids to help you defend the warp gate. Uh. Remember that you can request more units from the inventory menu. Good luck. <laughs> Wait, they're coming. <laughs> Commander, okay. I'm detecting flying enemy units approaching. I suggest you spawn some anti-air turrets from your inventory. Thanks for those tips though. Yeah, here we go. Not enough minerals. Uh-oh, -uh, that's not good. <laughs> Shit, they're gonna be flying then. I mean, I think drones will shoot it nevertheless. Let me scope them. Yeah, fuck my aim. <laughs> oh shit. I'm getting aggro when I'm shooting them. Okay. I think I have to go for those crystals as well. Damn it. Okay, I have money. Alert. Drop ship. Oh my god, not on my head! <laughs> That's health. You know what I wish? Because there's a really dynamic that you have this building menu and switching to your actual weapon. I wish the weapons would be on holsters because then the fluidity between switching the building inventory and then just picking up fastly your weapon just makes sense from the gameplay perspective. What the fuck is this? Oh no. Is this like a boss or something? Kill it! Mm. What the hell? <laughs> Going down. Is this health? No. What's weird about this weapon, and I don't know if it's because of the reloading or whatever, some shots don't register when you fastly press the trigger. This was the same thing that happened with Medal of Honor sometimes, that bullets would skip when you were just spamming the button. I'm not entirely sure what's happening here. <gasps> what is this? Yeah, I got a... whatever that is. A drone? Yeah, <laughs> flying drone. Lovely. Those mirrors are too far, like I would just be caught in the crossfire. Let me try this pistol. Oh wait, this piece is way better. I have to reload it. Okay, here. Oh yeah, because the fire rate is more consistent. Right? Yeah, I don't know if it's because of the mechanic or just my controller, but I think it's just the mechanic. 
guess it's more like a close combat weapon because it's not that accurate as a rifle. Oh, I forgot I had jetpack. Style points. Oh my god. Shit. <laughs> I love that feature. I wonder if I can jump like on the environment. Wait, I'll teleport and then jump. I can't jump twice. I can't just jump once. Ah, it's preventing me. Okay. <laughs> Wait, I mean, I can just go there. Easy, but we are not done yet. Try to spawn cannons from the inventory. They can cover one gate while you defend the other. Uh -huh. Effectively okay, going using back. your army will allow you to protect much bigger areas than what would be possible all by yourself. Okay, nice. What the hell? It's stomping. <laughs> okay. Oh no, he's attacking my building. Asshole, get off this. I think it's working, right? Repair. No, 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 no. Oh shit. Uh, uh. Ah, yeah, the Good job, Commander. Toggles we are doing weapons. Let's go back to the ship. Okay, that's very cute gameplay. I wanna play with people, so I guess I'll join here and I'll mute myself, obviously. <laughs> I guess every person has different budget because I'm starting with the thing that from the previous everyone have their Where own objectives. Ready? Yeah, let's do it. I'll just follow them, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> For some reason the volume lowered in the multiplayer and the frame rates are skipping because I think it's a lot going on. Wait, this motherfucker has a lightsaber? <laughs> how? Nice, dude. I don't know how many FPSs I have. Whoa. But I'm killing something, so... Pretty well guarded. Whoa. <laughs> I mean, I can build something as well now. Maybe a tank. <laughs> She's badass. And my own army of robots. We good? How's our little miner? Oh boy. Oh, I and all that. Did. I'll cover that. That's fine. I think my guys got it covered. Alright. Alright, I'm back. Alright, good. What the hell? <laughs> right. There's a lot of them here. Prepare everybody. Oopsie. Oh shit, even Quest 2 struggles with the performance here. I think it's because initially this okay. game is on Steam as well, so... Oh my god. <laughs> Droid. Okay. Jesus. Destruction. Let me deploy a mech. Because why not? Oh damn. Oh my god. Nice. Very nice. Well, seems like you have different weapons as well. I guess that you're buying them by completing the campaign or just like missions in together. So you have a ball, grenade, shotguns. And that's where this guy had this energy blade. He's been spamming this game because this shit is so expensive. Alright, well, it's actually very fun, like unique as well because we don't really have a deployment system RTS but in the FPS style. At least I don't remember on Quest. And the concept is very solid with this one. Like you have whole campaign, you have co-op mode integrated, PvP, like everything's seems to be going for this project pretty much. There are performance issues if you're going to the insane difficulty in the multiplayer mode and just deploy every unit there's possible on the battlefield, it's getting crazy there. <laughs> and I understand because there's a lot of software going around in this specific scenario that of course the headset is gonna be struggling. But I'm really interested what's gonna be the future of this game because to me it seems very promising and it's been only 3 days that this game is out so I'm definitely gonna keep an eye on it.